In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Skullbash. Skullbash was the interrupt that Ferals received in Cataclysm. However, unlike other interrupts like Pummel and Kick, Skullbash has a longer range and a charge component to it. This single difference makes Skullbash a unique ability because you can use that charge for other uses other than an interrupt. So let's go ahead and take a look how. I, I got three. After this, you get, you get him. He's Feral charged in the open. I'm gonna bash him. I'm throwing down. Bashing. He's falling his shields and stuff. Got him. Let's go ahead and rewind this to take a look at what just happened there. With the warrior on me and peeling, the hunter is able to get away from me. I use my feral charge to get back on the hunter, only to get peeled once again by the warrior's throwdown. To make things worse, the hunter uses disengage to recreate the gap. With the warrior still on me, I'm going to still be slowed, and it's going to be a hard time for me to get back on that hunter. However, this is a perfect scenario for me to use Skullbash. Because there is a charge component on Skullbash, I can use it as a gap closer rather than an interrupt. It's important to note that Skullbash is off the global cooldown, so the moment you hit the target, you can use any ability that you want. Also, when caught in things like Desecration or Ice Trap, power shifting really doesn't work well, so using Skullbash to get out of them will help a lot. Because of the charge component, we get interesting effects with Skullbash on Blades Edge Arena and Dalaran Sewers. If you're on top of the bridge and your target is down below, if you have line of sight of the target and use Skullbash, you'll dash all the way down and make contact. This also works the other way around if you're down below and your target's up on the bridge. It doesn't matter where your target is on the bridge, or even on the pillar, or anywhere on the ground. The target doesn't have to be casting anything either. This works as long as you're in line of sight to the target, and you're within 13 yards to use Skullbash. Here's an example of doing this. We're going against Resto Druid Death Knight, and my kill target is the Resto Druid, but it's really difficult for me to get on top of him because of all the Death Knight's root and snares. The rest of Druid gets away from me, and thinks he's safe by healing on top of the bridge. By using the Skullbash trick, you can completely get away from the Death Knight and get on top of the rest of Druid. This also works the exact same way on Dalaran Sewers. There are tons of places in which this trick works, so just be creative and try to figure out the best spots. 